How's it going everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. Now I'm back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where every Tuesday I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Lakeview Show House. If you're subscribed, like you should be, then you may feel like you are having deja vu. Hey, no you're not. This is round two. We've currently brought to you in the past the Lakeview Reimagined. Now what we've done, like we always do here at Recreational Resort Cottages, is we listen to your comments, listen to your feedback. So what we've done is came out with the Lakeview Show House, which you may have seen this show at the Great American Tiny House Show in Arlington, Texas, because we could not wait to debut it, but here I am video touring this particular model so you can see the tweaks and the changes that we've made. Before I get into it, I wanna let you know that again, this model is 11 foot wide, 46 feet in length, that's including the eight foot front porch and six foot rear porch. And it's on sale today for 108K. 108,000 is what you would get in this home today. Can't tell you what it's gonna be next week, can't tell you what it's gonna be next year. But today it's 108K. Now starting here on the exterior, we kept colors, all that the same. What we've done has made minor tweaks. Starting here on the porch, as you see, we've added the stained, hickory southern yellow pine interior porch ceiling we've added that in the last model it was black so we've added even more character what we've also done in the last model from the front of the home and the rear it had the monoslope style roof line which was angled to the side what we've done here is added the shed roof style so you can see it's higher in the back lower as you get down to the front so that's a different curb appeal that you're going to see as well but as far on the outside as you see right here we kept everything very similar so again we have the tortoise brown composite trex decking we have the entire exterior painted in black magic this is james hardy siding with the black magic colors we have the black windows we have the black trim we have black rebar railing surrounding the porch and we also have four can lights on the porch with wired embracing for an exterior ceiling fan so you can add your own ceiling fan after delivery also again have the cottage style door right here on the front it's going to have six pane glasses there for you now follow me inside and i'll show you some of the other tweaks that we've made to this model so as we come in you'll see this is why we received so many rave reviews on this model as we featured it. So, starting here in the living area, we still have the monoslope roof line on the interior of the home, where it's lower on one side, raised on the opposite side. So we kept that going. But what you'll see here, we've added different decor, more of a bohemian style on this model. And you'll see here, we've got enough space for a full-size couch here. We've got the half windows right here. We've got three transoms up above. And again, the ceiling is the stained hickory southern yellow pine. So that's matching the interior porch ceiling as well. Now look at this space. We've opened it up so you have even more space over here to the side where we've added picture windows. We have one there, three here, and then the windows up top bringing in that beautiful natural lighting. And what you also would notice is if you look above the door, in the first model, we had a transom window there. We did not add that in this model. We kept that there so you could add even more decor to your liking if you would want. And then right here in the area over here to the side that you can use, which I would use as displayed here as a dining area. Dining area, dining room in a tiny home, 399 square feet. Not gonna get anywhere else but recreational resort cottages. Beautiful pendant light up above. We have the island right here that is not stationary, so it can be moved when you would like. But then you have the view right there of the windows. And then what we've added is another tweak. Right over here, this was a great feature that we've added in the first model where we had the open shelving here painted black. We had the hutch area down below with the white cabinets, black bar pools, Calcutta marble uh, countertop. 
And then what we've done here, instead of the white shiplap that we had in the other model, we kept that stained southern yellow pine going there to be cohesive to the rest of the home. So we've added that feature. So instead of the shiplap, we threw in that stained pine. I think it came out rather well. You guys let me know in the comments. Now, if you follow me over to the kitchen, you'll see we have white cabinets, black bar pools, stainless steel, one basin, farm sink here, detachable sprayer. All your fixtures are in black to complement the home. Also another transom there. And again, we always finish out the top of our cabinets. We don't do that cheap stuff. The stuff that's going to fall apart when you hit it. This is going to be the stuff that's finished out on the top. You can add decor to your liking. Also have a nice convection oven here. Beautiful smooth top. Stainless steel oven down below. Again, full size appliances in a tiny home is what we do here. And then speaking of that, you have the side-by-side -side fridge with ice in the door. What's so lovely about the, the lake view and popular about the lake view is the loft. We'll get to that at the end, but I want to show you with it being centered, that's why you have so much room here in the main area. So with it being centered, it's tucked here to the back and offers even more accommodation of space upstairs. But before we get there, let's take it into the bathroom. We've added another feature into the bathroom that you may like. Again, this was very popular because we have the uh, Calcutta marble countertop here, subway tile, frosted glass window. But what we've done as well is, again, we've added the tub shower to the lake view. This is a great model because you have a tub in a tiny home. Can't beat it. But with that said, on the first one, we kept it fiberglass. We did not tile it. What we did in this one, we love this tile so much. This Craftsman tile in here, we went ahead and threw it in the shower. So not only do we have it as the backsplash in the kitchen, but also the shower tile. So everything runs together. It looks great. And then, of course, we have the black fixtures to complement. But I feel like it's added even more luxury to this already luxurious tiny home. So again, another tweak there for you. Now, keep on following me through the house and we'll keep it going here for you. Also here in the center, we have the 24 inch stackable washing machine and dryer front load. Got that in there for your convenience. And then as you take it here to the bedroom, built in nightstands on each side. This can accommodate queen size bed here in the center with ease. Also, you have your mini split AC and heat system, all controlled by remote. And then we got the window here off the back. We heard you. We heard your comments. We had a sliding glass door here on the first model. Some people said, hey, I'm not comfortable with having that sliding glass door in the tiny home. So what we've done, remove that for you to show you options. All it is, hey, it's, just, it's, it's light work to us. We can get this done for you. So what we went ahead and did was add a window and then added another cottage style door. So that way you've got the lock here, dead bolt. You do not have to worry about that sliding glass because again, not everyone has the you know, they, everybody has different styles. Everyone has different preferences. So we showed you the sliding glass door before, and now we've got you the Craftsman door here off the rear. So that's great options for you, and you can choose whichever one you would like. Also, black barn doors. We've got painted black barn doors double here, bringing out the black bar pools that's included on the white cabinets here for your dresser drawers. We've also stained the top of the dresser here in hickory to match, of course. Now take it on back and we'll take it outside right here onto the six foot rear porch. And as you see here, again, we have the full privacy slatted wall here. We have the half privacy slat here up front. And then we have the open space for you to accommodate your stairs after delivery. But then again, another full privacy slat wall here on this opposite side. And of course, if we did it to the front side, you know we gotta add it to the caboose. So we had to get loose and add that stained southern yellow pine up top on the interior ceiling. So we have that matching. And again, like I told you, we kept the different roof line here where it's elevated here towards the front of the porch and then we kind of slope it down as we get to the end. So that is a great option there. Again, a different style for you. And of course, this cottage door is instead of the sliding glass door. We painted it black on the outside, kept it white and airy on the inside. Now follow me back in. And now let's take it to the stairs that lead up to this split loft. So you'll see here as we come around, painted black rails, 
what we've done is also added the crafts men's style tile right here to the front risers of the stairs so that is great it adds a lot of character as soon as you enter the home you see this right off first glance that's what we do it for we want those one-of-a-kind things that when people say hey you went tiny you must be crazy you gotta say hey i talked to mr tiny hey he knows what he's doing and he hooked me up because we add things like this that a lot of people don't even fathom they don't even envision us doing things like this this is nicer than a lot of people's traditional homes but you've got it in 399 square feet of luxury and then right here we kept the rebar rails going up to the loft and then follow me up so I can show you this split loft concept in the Lakeview show house now we are in the loft of the Lakeview show house and if you saw the first version of this then you know that we've made some tweaks here in the loft area right here starting off as you can see one of the best features of the Lakeview is the split loft concept as you see here in the back you have ample space for mattresses bean bags desk chairs whatever you like you have the option here but starting off we've added a transom window to one side we have double clear story windows on the opposite side and what we've done different here which is even more options for you is in the first version we had built-in cabinets over there on the opposite side of the loft what we've done here is went ahead and removed those and omitted those cabinets. So that offers even more sleep space for you. What I love about it is if you got small children, hey, you already know in the middle of the night, they're gonna say, he's touching me, she's touching me, leave me alone. You don't wanna put up with that. So guess what we did for you? We got section over here, section over here. We have bars in the middle. Hey, three strikes you out you're going upstairs into your side don't make don't make me put a, a kitty gate up here for you but you got that covered and everyone's separated so everyone has their own space equal amount of space but it's even great for the children you can still keep an eye on them since the railing is open as far as visually so even if you're in the main area you can still see up to the loft if needed and then right here on the back again you have enough space for anything that you like so as you pan down to the main area, you can see this Lakeview show home concept. This is a great floor plan, great options. The first one we had sold before it even aired. Now this one, we, are, we have taken to the Great American Tiny House Show, and I'm telling you, it's gonna sell while it's there. But this is a model that you can order today for 108K. So we're giving you all the features, all the benefits of quality, and luxury wrapped into 399 square feet. So keep in mind, this home is 11 foot wide, 46 feet in length, including the eight foot front porch and six foot rear porch on sale today for 108K. So if you like this model, you like the tweaks, let me know right now by leaving a thumbs up, like this video, hit the notification bell as well. So that way you can be notified every week. Also leave a comment. Let me know some of the changes that we've made for you guys, hey, we've been looking at the comments. We saw what you wanted to change to the first one, and we made those changes. So if you like the changes, show some love. Let us know. If you got any more changes you would like to make, let us know as well, and we will use it moving forward in other models. So we listen to our clients because you, the clients, is what makes us. You make me as well. Hey, Mr. Tiny wouldn't be here doing these videos if you guys weren't supporting. So I thank you for that. And speaking of support, hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, and if you're subscribed, like you should be, then you're part of the family, and I appreciate you, because you know these videos are coming out every week, all the way from 399 square feet up to 2,500 square feet. I've got something for everybody. And if you want to talk and connect with me directly about a home, you can follow me right now on Instagram, at the Mr. Tiny at T-H-E-M-R-T-I-N-Y, and you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the Lakeview show house as well as hundreds of other models directly off of my Instagram. You can contact me day and night and I'll make sure that price is right. So feel free to DM, leave me a comment. I would love to assist you. And again, I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'll see you next Tiny Home Tuesday.